Today I'm gonna show you how I am modifying my FlySky remote to or the transmitter to the FS GT3B from all the ton of triple A or double A's to a LiPo battery. It should make it last longer and have it rechargeable and produce less waste and all that good stuff. So to begin, I already took apart the screws from here, 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 and these two places. That loosened it up enough where I could pull this out. Next what I'm going to do is take the soldering iron and break the connections to the existing wires. Because it has this connector, I ordered a bunch of male-female parts online so I can just make this quick release. It's this long, but I don't think I want it this long, so I'm going to trim it back. I think moving it up here will make it a little bit easier to work with. And these helping hands I bought at Harbor Freight for like seven bucks. Use them for a lot of RC projects for putting lights together and LED lights for the RCs. Okay, so I forgot to put the shrink wrap tube on for the red side, but slid it and we'll see how it how it connects. There we go, powered up. I had a roll of this super handy double sided velcro and cut the necessary pieces so we can keep the battery stable. Let's see, I am going to put the hook side inside. loop side on the battery slide the battery case on it's a little tight but it will go in you can see it's on my EXO um, and then the battery you can see is 11.6 volts you don't want to run it down too much, um, so keep your eye on it. And not sure. I think you might be able to set an alarm on this as well. Uh, somebody else might know more about this controller than I do, but uh, that's it.